What's going on guys? Today we're going to be doing an unboxing, install and review on the Kick-Ass Shower 10 awning. Let's get into it. He chose that knife. So inside the kit, once you open up the box, you're gonna be getting uh, the awning itself, which has a pretty sturdy uh, weatherproof casing. Two really nice zips that can be opened from left to right, and they're pretty thick as well, so don't expect them to snap off. Nice metal backing, which these uh, brackets are gonna be going into, so that makes it nice and easy. Um, then we're gonna go over to our bag, which uh, four pegs will go into, so when it's windy, we can uh, peg it down, and they're quite thick, so don't expect them to bend. A uh, baggie full of nuts, and there's also uh, the nylock. So once you do them up properly, you don't expect them to rattle loose, which is really good. The brackets themselves seem pretty thick, so they're not gonna bend. Even though this is not that heavy, it's good to know that going up tough tracks and after the longevity will last. Going over to our tool. So we have an electric ratchet, along with the uh, 10 mil spanner. You can get away with two 10 mil spanners, but this is gonna make that job a little bit easier. Uh, so these ratchet spanners as well, also a really good idea if you don't have the electric ratchet. And yeah, the 10 mil paired up, perfect. Alrighty guys, for the install, it's gonna flip it around. Make sure the outside track is on the bottom. Open this up. Now there's gonna be two bolts up top. And the same for down the bottom. that back up. Now we just want to loosely uh, fit the brackets on. So once we get up to the awning, our uh, roof rack, sorry, we can adjust it to where we want it. So the off-tap Turing Hilux is using the Pioneer system, which means we have to opt for the Rhino rack hardware. If you are using other uh, roof racks, the hardware supplied with the kick-ass awning should be sufficient. So we're gonna be using a bolt, a spring washer, and finally the Rhino rack uh, square nut. Now it's just in the brackets. Alrighty. Test it out. 
All right, so now that it's in the position and I've adjusted it to where I want it to be, I'll just open it up and we'll have a look. So we have uh, two straps, just like a pretty standard awning. One, two, it rolls down. There's metal bars here as well. This one comes out, this one comes out, and it's like a, um, a camp table, they're just locking at the corners. There's one. There's two. And you've also got your four corners where your uh, pegs would go. And we would be pegging it down if we weren't on the rocky gravel. All right, so every strap is adjustable. So whether you have a uh, low or high four wheel drive, you can tailor it to your needs. Um, you got to, if you're tall yourself or you've got a sh short girlfriend, you can adjust it and move it to how you want. Alrighty, so there's a zip down the bottom. Come down, zip that back down. Alrighty, so first of all, we have our toiletry holders. So yeah, uh, shampoo, teeth base, uh, razors, whatever you want. And there's one on each side. Uh, we also have a drop down zip. So you can access uh, inside the car. So you have a, a change of clothes or you have a cold beer or whatever. Um, it's also quite spacious. If you really wanted to, you could get uh, two people in here. Um, up here we have a, a spot for our shower head. So a lot of people are running showers with electrical submergible pumps. So you can run the wiring into there and have your shower out this way. So that's pretty cool. Nice and smick. And the pack down. Just like any awning or tent that you do, uh, the tighter that you roll it, the uh, nicer it's going to pack away. Uh, that's just something to note. So the metal bars make it really easy uh, to do it by yourself. You don't need uh, your partner or your mate there to help you. Good. Same as before. Grab the strap wherever it's going to. Obviously, the uh, more time you do it, the faster you're going to get. This is my first time doing it, so. This was 200 bucks in Corolla and Vic, it cost me 30 bucks for shipping. Um, for the price I've paid, I'm pretty stoked with it. The way that it's built, it does seem pretty solid. Obviously, I haven't been out and used it properly yet, so I can't give a proper review and what I think about it, but it feels like one of those things that, yeah, it is a bit of a luxury, but once you have it, I don't think that you want to go back to not having it. So to be able to have, be out in the bush, be dirty, be out on the boat, get up all over you have to be able to come back have a nice shower and then sit down at camp campfire uh, i'm so stoked i'm so ready for it so uh anyway thanks for watching guys uh please like and subscribe if you want to see their channel grow and try to come back with uh, more videos so catch you next time